there, fellow audience. Welcome to my humble abode's kitchen. It's another episode with cooking with the papas. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If this is the first time watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Today I'm joined again by my lovely sister Sigel <laughs> and we are going to be just showing you an easy smoothie slash smoothie bowl recipe. Easy shall I say. A lot of ingredients. It's very hard work. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so we're gonna get started. There are some differences in the kinds of smoothies that we like. For instance, I like banana. She hates banana, so she will the show smell. you now. What? <laughs> <laughs> so I will show you what I'm adding, and then I'll just show you maybe like some differences in what she's. So adding. for the first thing that we're gonna add is our Woolworths berries. Can you see it? Beauty Guru vibes again. Wait, let's see. Okay, yeah, there, there you go. go. <laughs> so we're just gonna add in however much we want to be honest and having it frozen as well is really nice because then it'll add like a no. thicker consistency. If you don't want to get a lot of fat and use ice cream, just using the frozen berries. Or like freezing your bananas, but the last time I tried freezing the banana I nearly broke my blender, so I'll probably doing something. That was for my birthday, by the way. So <laughs> that's why we're going to be using this. So in this bowl, there is raspberries, cherries, strawberries, and blackberries, and there's also blueberries, which they haven't um, included. So I'm just going to add... Cranberries. Cranberries. Oh, and there's cranberries. It's like a whole assortment, but yeah. So I'm just going to get out a measuring cup, and then... Um, oh, there's no measuring <laughs> cup. Where's the measuring cup? <laughs> okay, I don't really cook, if you haven't guessed already. So, my sister's just going to help me find everything, as you can here. So, I'm just going to take a little bit and then, uh, I'm just showing this for whatever reason. Purposes. Yeah, but I'm just going to use a half cup of berries. I hope that this will fit in. Okay, well that's like half. <laughs> so, I'm just going to... Okay. Uh, a few okay. How about you be more smarter? Wait, let, let, let Oh yeah, me... yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think of that too. Okay, well, there you go. Like, okay, that ended up being like one cup. Okay, so I can add that. What I want. just want to be easy and use the actual one cup. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't know. Okay, so this is just how much I have. Then, I'm just going to add in a bowl separately because we do only have one of these containers that mm. goes with our appliances. So... That is why it's going to be in the bowl. Okay, yeah. so she's just going to put that in. In the meantime, then I'm just going to take my banana. I like adding a banana in, get that potassium. But also, <laughs> I like the consistency it gives. It makes it extremely creamy. And the berries are also really good for antioxidants um, and also making your smoothie look pretty, let's be honest. Aesthetic quality is what we're after. Um, so I'm just going to break that like into quarters. Um, oh, these are nice and fresh. Wait, wait, can we just take a moment to appreciate this huge, huge strawberry right I, I just, I just love how much <laughs> of berries she's put in and then my little bit there. But oh, you didn't get that many big strawberries and she's gonna okay. steal. So me. what's that? But if you want an alternative, what are you gonna put inside, Joel? For well, banana. Yeah, instead of banana. To get the creaminess, I just froze some lovely yogurt. Which is It's just normal uh, Greek yogurt, which is this Parmalat um, alternative. I'm just going to put in the rest of it just because I also like yogurt. And my sister doesn't really like milk, but I feel like milk makes it like much more healthier and tastes so much better. So mm. I'm just adding, adding, I'm just gonna <laughs> add uh, 200 ml of milk. Okay, so I just added that in. I don't know how much that is, but you can see from here, it's like probably two or three tablespoons. And it is Clover's full cream milk, which means it'll and, give you that guarantee. And obviously you can make this vegan without the addition of milk and or yogurt and just get vegan yogurt, coconut yogurt, coconut milk, almond milk. And then for both of us, I did this in my previous What I Eat in a Day. Um, it's this berry nectar from Forever. And this is, oops, 
Um, <laughs> aloe juice is actually really good for many reasons. Cleaning out your digestive system. Again, antioxidants. This has apple and berries, yeah. which means it's not like got, very much out of the flavor yeah. profile that we're trying to build up So here. we're just going to eyeball it and see how much we want. It depends on what consistency we want. So I'm just going to add like a half a cup of... I'm going to add 80 mils because I'm not like Kira that likes to eyeball it. I okay. like my measurements. Um, then we are going to add some acai berry powder, powder which I got from... Oh, can you see it? There you go. Um, I, which I got from Pick and Pay actually, just the Nature's Choice one. And I used it in my sister's um, birthday. birthday video. So for this, they recommend like two or three tablespoons, but let's be honest, we're going to add in more. Yeah, it's just an actual tablespoon. Okay, yeah, you can use I'm it. I'm just going to use a normal tablespoon. But this, again, uh, acai is extremely, extremely good for protein and me being a vegetarian and not even having um, any eggs, being a vegetarian and trying to stay off of dairy. I'm just going to add in a bit more. So yeah, protein, again, antioxidant because it is a berry. And stick to the flavor profile, yeah. people. Don't want to add yeah. like. So I'm just gonna put in like two heap tables, two heap tables, two heap tablespoons of it. Tables. <laughs> tablespoons. Another, okay. another mix up. Remember, there, I thought the spoon wasn't gonna fit. I was gonna be like, oh crap, I just I just said I love my measurements and now I'm going it's to. It's betraying you. Here. Okay, while Sigil puts that I'm just in, I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons because we already I got I added a lot more juice than Kira did. I don't want too much, you know. But it's very, it's very strong for me if I can. Okay, and then the last thing that will go into our smoothie is our cereal. Sorry. Oh, two last things. Sorry, is cereal. Cereal is a really good way to make sure that it gives you energy as well as is it is more filling. So I'm just adding oats because I love oats and so I'm gonna add all bran because I love the way Kellogg's all bran. Yeah, it's both really the, good with fiber and protein if you yeah. want it. Really and both of these really energy. are good for cleaning out your digestive system. And so I'm just gonna put in like one teaspoon. If and you want to see like a video of me and Kira making our own breakfast, hit that like button. Yes, right and now. leave a comment of your smoothie recipes or any other recipe that you want we us can to make try a video them on. Another video and yes. say like how, if we recommend it you know you'll be world renowned for making and also smoothie. comment if you've tried one of our smoothie thingies and then tell us if it has worked for you and then the last ingredient that's going into both of ours is this maple syrup um i'm not a big fan of honey and again trying to stay as plant-based as i can so i try to stay away from honey so i'm just using this maple syrup i use this on everything from pancakes to waffles to toast so i really like that um I good way to get sweetness in and it's it is like obviously a bit fattening but it's healthy fats if i can say i'm um, just gonna add a bit of that i don't really like how the flavor is i just it's smoothie it. yeah. it's good but like it has a bit of like a more tanginess okay, if i can so say yeah. so i'm gonna add a little bit of sugar and a little bit of that. So I'm okay. just going to add like one teaspoon okay. of sugar and, and like a tablespoon of that. So we'll get back to you after we finish blending it up and I'll show you how I plate it up and how she oh, like puts it. <laughs> berry berry and honestly i think we are up for the roll i mean look at us Hi, George. i'm blending it so i'm just gonna put it in now and like if you see the consistency it's like thick but still smoothie like which is kind of what we were going for smoothie -like. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so I'm just gonna yeah. get a spoon to get all the rest out because in this house we do not waste. At the same time, I will be cleaning up in the background. So if you see my uh, ferocious little hands, it's because of that. <laughs> okay, so this is quite a big portion, which is great. Um, but obviously, if you do not eat a big portion like this, then you could always just split it up between two people or change the proportions. Um, but yeah. So I've got all of the smoothie out, so I'm just going to put that on the side. As I said before, I am making a smoothie bowl. 
So the first thing that it's going to go in is almonds. Um, almonds are really good for your brain health, your memory, uh, really good again for your digestive system, and they are really good for protein and healthy fats. So I'm just going to put a few here and I can't there. There's such a thing as good fats, right? Yes, like avocado. I eat, oh yeah, okay. No, I was about to say Actually, I speaking about avocado, if you ever make a green smoothie, Adding avocado in is a great way to get your fats in as well as to get creamy and it doesn't even taste of it. It tastes really good, like even if you just don't want to make the smoothie, just have some avocado and condensed milk with some ice. Okay, it's the best. Then I'm just going to add some more oats in just for texture and again for the health benefits that I mentioned previously. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in. And then... Another thing for getting your protein in as a vegetarian, which I did mention in my previous What Do I Eat, is making is putting chia seeds on almost anything and everything that you eat. I have this on, on um, what do you call it? Toast or anything like that. So mine is nearly finished, but a good brand to use is this one. It's the Health Connection Whole, Whole Foods one. I don't know if you guys can see that, but get that yeah. at your disc game. Uh, or your pick and pay actually has it. Um, it's a bit pricey, but it lasts a very, very long time. And this again is good for protein and um, also some has, I think, iron benefits. And so, what? <laughs> no. Okay. So I'm just going to add that in. I, I like putting it on everything, as I said before. It's just a good way to get your proteins. It also looks aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. It's a really good health food. This and um, acai berries are very good, um, what do you call it, superfood. So I have that in. And then we got some desiccated coconut. I love coconut. I think it's the Indian in me that loves it. Good love jam and all. I don't know where we got it from, but I'm pretty sure you can find it at your local store. Yeah, so it's just desiccated coconut, which I'm just going to put a nice line, a up. Nice line up. You know, have to get it aesthetically. That's what you said. No, Sigil, don't do that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put that in. And then the last thing, of course, is our berries. I'm just going to add a bit more in because you can never have enough of that. And so I'm just going to put like a tablespoon of it on. Which is going to be two berries. <laughs> True. Okay. I'll oh, put... that's actually a really good serving mate. Okay. You know, you should just use your hands. <laughs> I want to get it dirty. You ruined the whole little plate. Man. I think it still looks beautiful. Okay, scratch that. It was two tablespoons. <laughs> let, me just, let me just literally just... It's us just here, okay? We washed our... I washed my hands. You washed your hands? Yes. Jeez, Sigil. Judgment much. Anyway. And so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell the berries sprinkled over, but it still looks super cute. Oh, and I think there's um pomegranate on this here. This is what well. the finished product looks like. Really good way, and it saves you tons of money from buying your own acai bowl, whatever, um, or your own smoothie bowl. So that's how mine look, and now Sidebill's just going to show you how she plates up her smoothie. I mean, bottles up her smoothie. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our video please let us know if you liked this recipe video um i am thinking of doing some other vegetarian recipes that aren't really breakfast related so let me know if you'd enjoy seeing that thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe as well as head over to my instagram and follow me and leave a comment and like share and subscribe i think i've already said that before but yeah thank you hope you have a great comment week. if you want more cooking in the kitchen with the pastas. I never truly really said that. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys have a good week ahead filled with lots of love, light and positivity. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.